If you have native instruments plugins and you installed them to the default location using native access, then you open Studio One here and we go looking through all of our plugins, we're not seeing native instruments anywhere. That's because the default location for native instruments plugins is in its own folder. Okay. And in here in Studio One, you'll see, just come up here to Studio One, Options, go to Locations, and go to VST Plugins. The default locations for Studio One do not include the default location for the native instruments VSTs. Okay. So all you need to do to get your native instruments plugins running in Studio One if you install them to their default locations is simply add that location. You could of course move the VST files if you wanted. I'm going to keep mine in their default folder. So again, in here in locations, VST plugins, just head down here and choose add. I'll go to C, program files, come down here to native instruments, which is their default location is way down here in VST plugins 32 bit and VST plugins 64 four bit. Okay, this is where they are by default. So I just want the 64 bit plugins, but right here is your 32 bit plugin folder as well. I'll just select this folder, select that folder right here. And now we have that path right there, choose apply. And guess what, it's going to scan through your plugins again. And now we're done. So click okay, and look over here. And now we have native instruments right there. So just grab whatever you want, of course, throw it in. Now you have your native instruments plugins right here in Studio One. If you're not seeing everything, of course, try shutting down Studio One and then open it back up. And then you should see your native instruments plugins in Studio One.